Tuesday. Thank you guys who said, everyone who sent in your roll dolls from yesterday, the witches and fantastic Mr. Fox. They were amazing. If any of you haven't had a go at them yet, please take a look on the archive. They're great little pictures and have a go at those. Today is Tuesday and we've got some really healthy, exotic tropical fruit. Let's get to it. <laughs> going to do our lovely um, bits of tropical fruit today and we're going to start by thinking finding the middle of the page going down a little and then what I want you to do is just put pop in a line there and from that line we're going to take it in a curve down here it's not a semicircle because it's really quite deep can you see we're going quite deep down there and then across to make this melon and from there, so that we can see it from a side view, we're going to come out and round. So coming up to here now, I'm going to start my pineapple. I want them to overlap. So I'm going to go about there, take a little line up and then curve. And again, this isn't really an oval. It's, it's coming up, a little bit of a straight line down, and then a bit more of a curve. Might take it slightly wider there. Curve. I'm going to come round and finish it there. And then up here, I'm going to do, I'm just going to start what, what I'll work on next time with my spikes. I'm going to have a spike there and another one there to get that trademark spike on the top of the pineapple. So there's the first shapes if you pause and pop those in. So coming on to the melon here, the watermelon, what I want you to do is just do a little circle. I just want to do a shape where you mirror it uh, exactly inside. And then coming down here, you've just got a couple of little wavy lines, which will be the outside of the skin there. And then coming up here, let's put a few more spikes in up here at the top. I'm going to put one there, one curving around to there, and a big one up here at the top. Pop those in. Right, I'm going to pop a horizon line in here because I want this idea of a sort of tropical setting sun. There we go, in the background. And I'm going to put my sunshine there. And then I'm going to put some pips here, just some little pips in my watermelon. Just a few shapes. That's it. That one's probably a bit too big. And then coming in my pineapple, it's not like a solid crisscross, as if you're playing noughts and crosses. It's a really, and I'm doing this really lightly because I want to go in with my watercolour pencil and do it. I'm just going to put these crisscross lines in, and each one is very light and it's a kind of curve. Put another one up there, like that. And then just to finish off here, I'm going to put another few spikes in. So I'm going to come up with this sort of tall one there. And another one coming out there and then the last one i'm going to put here like that and that is my pineapple right i'm going to use watercolor pencils here love my watercolor pencils they're so easy to use um, all I'm going to do is go around each of these spikes in my uh, dark green. Like so. And I'm going to put a little bit of light green just in the middle like that. And if I take my clean brush, a bit of water, damp, not sopping wet, and I'll just take each bit of the paint I like that to it. So I'm just pulling the pigment here onto my wet brush and it's just painting on the paper like so. Right, I'm going to just put a bit of yellow ochre here in my pineapple. So I've got that in and I'm going to come finish it off with other colours. So in there, I'm going to go like that. Like 
There we go. I'm going to be careful as I come to the top because I don't want to get that in. Now, coming over here, now I'm going to do my watermelon and I'm going to do this with this gorgeous red. Oh, watermelon to me just is summer. Setting the big chunks of this. Okay, and I'll just turn that like that. I'm going to go over the pips because um, I'm going to come back and do those in a minute. All right, and then I'm going to do the dark green here. I'm going to go around the edge like this. And here, I'm just going to put in these little stripes as if it's got that bit where it's a bit slightly pale green. There, and I'll take my brush. I'll just turn carefully turn these bits and as I wet my if I wet my brush so it's got water on but not paint and I go like that it keeps the stripes but they're not as dark right let's finish this off now I'm going to come in even though it's not dry I should probably leave it to dry and I'm going to go around my pineapple with a sort of wavy curvy line here so it's got that sort of bumpiness that a pineapple has and then I'm going to go over my lovely loose lines like this. Let's put another one in there. And in a few of them, not all of them, I'm going to put little spots like that. Here and there. All right, and then if I come on to my watermelon, I can add in the seeds. And to finish it off, I just want a little bit of dark brown, like a little shadow underneath. There, like that. And a little bit of sand here. I'm going to put my, my tropical sunshine there. And a little bit of sea as well, why not, hey? Just a little bit of tropical sea. And then if I take my brush, I can start with the yellow. I'm going to be quite careful coming near the pineapple because it's still wet. A little bit of sand there. And I'll take that into the shadow. And then I'll just turn the seat and then that is our finished. that I hope that was a nice little tropical break um and we've got something special tomorrow because it's wednesday and it's our final wednesday so i've been saving this one up actually we've had loads and loads of requests for it turns out there's this game that people like playing called minecraft so tomorrow wednesday is going to be minecraft day make sure you join us anytime from 11. Mm -hmm.